Unnumbered Pokemon sequel? Could this be a test by Nintendo to see if Pokemon fans would buy the same game two more times? Because they 100% would. Black 2. I'm not playing it. Same places, not even a new Pokemon on the cover, just an original work, don't steal Pokemon. I couldn't believe Nintendo would ever release a low effort Pokemon game. I turned to Google for answers and guess what I found out? Did you know Nintendo released an exclusive Pokemon game in France called Pokemon Noir? I assumed it was Detective Pikachu with alcoholism. So I bought the sequel and installed an English patch. The game begins with Professor Golden Juniper, that's her name, explaining what Pokemons are. Her field is apparently the origin of Pokemon. Why do we need a professor for that? Officially, in the canon, they were created by a religious creation myth. You should be a priest. Pick man or woman. The boy, canonically, he is a priest, named Father Nathaniel. Not gonna fit the noir theme, but the girl, she has head airbags in case her car gets hit from the side. Name, real name Rosa? Pink? You can't name a girl pink, it's not 2001! To counter this extreme sexism, I need to start her name by pointing out that she has a career. For example, detective. And since I'll probably fill out the Pokedex this time, her name will be Detective Dexter. You wanted to see me, sir? Are you familiar with the Wolfgang case? I think so. Two years ago, a suspicious potato salesman killed world-famous Pokemon battler Wolfgang. The potato seller has now been proven innocent. Because of technology we didn't have in 2010, but now it's 2012. Total cyberpunk future. Look at this hologram. Look at it! You have a nice hologram, sir. We don't know who killed her, but we believe a Pokemon was involved. You are my best Leaf Blade runner. I need you to catch the killer and delete the Pokemon. I'll do it, as long as I can voice over monologue. <sighs> Fine. The commissioner wanted me to so Not yet! Now start by seeking out Cheren in Aspartia City. We start in one of the new cities, Aspartia. Similar to Aspire, to be the very best. It didn't win any game awards because it was focusing on literary awards. You immediately meet your new rival. Hi, Detective Dexter. I'm Officer White 2. Rookie Boy Scout, not yet corrupted by the dark world of Pokemon. The two of them go off to meet Bianca, who is staring at a totally cyberpunk view, to ask her what she knows about the victim. I destroyed her TV and she never talked to me ever again. Do you want a starter? Now we get to pick our starter! Not me though. The department can't afford to give you a good Pokemon, so we grabbed whatever we found in evidence. Here's a Scraggy! I want crack! Sir, did he just say... No, that's his Pokemon shout! Please give me crack! Sir, I don't think... There are variations, there's like Pikachu and Pika Pika! I know how to make it myself if you give me the ingredients. Then we get to battle our rival. I don't see him grabbing a starter, so I guess there are just starters roaming around. I lost! Wow, you are terrible. We should probably interview the champion next. You'll need his school. Bianca also shows us the Pokemon Center and says it'll heal our Pokemons for free. Don't you mean tax funded? Walking towards the next town, we meet the ex champion. Cybernetic enhancements. He has really, really fallen on hard times. Welcome to my Pokemon school. Any questions? Yes, according to the Pokemon Dex, there are different stats based on. Gonna stop you right there. Cool, tough looking Pokemons are the best, and cute Pokemons are for girls. That doesn't seem right. Learn to play Pokemon. We find out Cheren has returned to the gym. So now we shall go interrogate him. Hello, I'm Detective Dexter. I need to ask you a few questions. No, it's illegal in Pokemon law to help anyone with anything unless you Pokemon battle them. You are correct. So we battle, but I lose. Still, a battle is a battle. Now tell me what I need to know. Nay. I plead the fifth. I have the right to remain silent unless the person asking the question has all the Pokemon badges. Seriously? Duh. And so our adventure begins. First destination, Verbank.
A city filled with liars. Man, you should try out the Nintendo Online services. They work great. Take charlatans. The thick smog like a cloak covering the powerful from accountability. Allowing abuse in the name of supporting dreams. Can you believe me, a sailor, gets to star in gay porn? Good for him. This guy tells you to go catch an electrolyte. They turn into robots. Pretty cyberpunk. Well then, off to beat the gym. Meanwhile, at Game Freak. So the gym leader should be a rock star. But what kind of Pokemon type would a rock singer have? You're making a rock gym? Yes, exactly, like a rock concert. Well, there's a rock song called Poison. Oh my gosh, how have they not promoted you? Hello, I'm Detective Dexter. Fuck you, pig! Now I kinda think you're hiding something. It's a great animal, helps us find truffles, delicious. I, I have this badge, maybe we can work something out. I didn't take bribes. But this case needed to be solved. And this was a dark cyberpunk world. So, so is, that a, you know, is, is that a yes? Verbank. Foggy place. Seems like a terrible place to make film. Yes, here you can make them. And watch them. This is the exact face I made while watching this. Am I gonna make some films? We're shutting down. Why? Wildfire number 50. California should really ban fire Pokemon. Walking back from the film studio, you encounter new Team Plasma. Is Team Plasma the ginger uprising? We have the most powerful Pokemon. I'm a police detective. I have a gun. Everybody scram! Please don't hurt me. I would, but I'm corrupt now. Uh, I have this Pokemon I stole from ex-Lord N. Yay, a new HM holder. Okay, time to take the boat to the next location. The city formerly called New Motorstoke. But after the collapse, it's called Neo New Motorstoke. Neo New Motorstoke looks exactly the same, even has the same pervert. You can do surveys? What's your favorite type of Pokemon? Where is sexy? Go to Game Freak HQ! Whichever Pokemon you defeat us with will be removed from the decks. Huh, can't enter the gym yet. But a girl shows up. Sad to say, the artist is not here, detective. And you are? I'm Iris, Pokemon champion and chairman of the Iris Corporation. Ah, you. How did you survive the massacre? Ah, my name is Iris, the messenger of the gods. And they don't like their male late, Dexter. Huh? The man you seek is in the sewer, along with your mostly human companion. We shall speak at a later time. The sewers! Officer White 2 is here tells us to team up because he's a trained combat medic. This is in the game, not something I made up. There are only two Team Plasma members here. How did you get past the alligators? There are no alligators in the sewers, that's a mi- ah! Then the gym leader shows up and says nothing suspicious here. Something extremely suspicious emerges from a wall. I am Colress, Detective Dexter, Leaf Blade Runner. May I ask you a personal question? May I? What's with your hair? Have you ever deleted a human by mistake? Have I met a person that painted itself and shouted the same word over and over again? No. But in your position, that is a risk. No! It's bug gym time! You enter cocoons, then spiders carry you up. It's disgusting. Gym leader bruh? That's me! I'm Detective Dexter. I want to ask you some questions. Alright, but from what I understand, you were severely injured from a bullet through the head. Aren't you a kid? I used to be. You can't be a kid after you find semen in the Nidu King's ear. Please stop talking. Let me tell you the entire case. Nimbasa, 2011. He smiled at me when they carried him away. Take the badge and leave! Now we have to go to Wolfgang's hometown to investigate. But we can't cross the bridge after the other side was attacked by Furetzilla. We'll go north, on our way, Colress! Detective, about Pokemon. You don't believe they are a benefit? They are walking weapons that can understand us, but we can't understand them. So, you're paranoid. I'd say my paranoia is healthy. Here used to be the famous New York ruins. Now they are real estate. Like the real ones. In the new Motostoken's defense, if you didn't want your ancient ruins to be demolished, don't build them near a metropolitan area. A bit further up, you enter the avenue, a new feature. 
a guy walks up to you and he's like, I've built this massive avenue worth millions. Now I'm looking for one lucky stranger to take it over. If someone gives you a business in real life, that thing has loans five times its value. Out of the scam, end up in Nimbasa. Scraggy, what do you think about the ferris wheel? You could sell in there! No one would overhear! Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. Let's get the badge. The gym is a fashion show. This can't possibly be legal. Having an audience will affect the performance of the Pokemon. Also, what's the point of fashion? Pokemon characters wear the same thing always. Hello, I am Elise. I think she died and you don't look like her. Identity theft. Never heard of it. Your accent doesn't even sound real. It sounds like a failed Borat. Of course, I am Yunovan. How else would I have the badge? Thank you, Elise. Outside, Team Plasma is just standing there. And Officer White 2 is harassing them. One of them throws out a trubbish that caused a Pokemon fandom civil war back in 2010. Now they miss this era. As I'm walking on the bridge, I encounter members from the same state of matter. Did you not see Garbage Guy to Pokemon White? Lord N is weird. Uh, that video is actually historically inaccurate. He was a great and respected Pokemon trainer. Hello. We are those who left Team Plasma. Going from militant animal rights activists to normal annoying ones. Funded mostly through Lord N's shovel selling empire. Here in Tokyo Driftwell exists old Team Plasma's HQ. The new Team Plasma is taken more seriously because they dress like terrorists, but the old ones are still taken more seriously in bars. The first thing we need to do in town is to meet up with the former accused. How is life as a free man? Uh, I realized that I was in prison because I looked suspicious selling potatoes. Now I sell apples. You looked suspicious because you were wearing a suit and sunglasses. Like they weren't even actual potatoes, they were Pokemon. Excuse me? Do you want my last potato? Okay. Ah, this is Kabuto. Evolves into Kabutops. Those aren't blades. It's a water Pokemon, those are paddles. With my new water Pokemon, the rock gym was easy. Hello, I'm Detective Dexter. How did you survive the massacre? Well son, I'm from Texas. I see. Do you remember anything of the murder? Absolutely. I remember a non-brisket smell. What do you mean? A smell that was not smoked brisket. C can you please speak to my colleague instead? He gets a call from Sharon, so they head south to the Pokemon World Championship, which was built by Clay. That makes it private. C can he do that? And are the Pokemon Leagues owned by the state? There's like a lot I want to know. Whatever, let's win. Okay then, first we need to drug test your Pokemon. Uh, Scraggy? I have an idea! Scraggy evolves into Scrafty. Legalize it, man! I, I guess this is an improvement. It's medical, man! It's used in hospitals! Uh, excuse me? Recreational morphine for the people. As that can't be considered a performance enhancing drug, I am allowed to compete. Facing Officer White and gets destroyed by him. How are you so terrible, Pokemon? I used an X accuracy tactic. Gonna stop you right there. You are supposed to pick an attack that has a lot of power, then spam it. As the gang walks out, a couple of Team Plasma members run past us. Officer White 2's police jeans tell us we should run after them and ask a bunch of annoying questions even though he was only running because he had ordered food and didn't want it to get cold. Colres tells us not to do it, go north, disappear. Anyone with that haircut should not be respected. They find a boat and are surrounded about to be beaten to death. Do not judge a book by its dumb haircut. Time to die. Please ma'am, don't smoke. He's right. It takes four minutes of your life. That's why it's okay. I'm so young, those four minutes are further away. Uh, no, because this is a remodeled oil tanker. Oh, I see. I'm gonna throw the cigarette. Please don't. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I found this ruin. Perhaps I can find my next Pokemon here? Maybe that one. This is Vocaron. Vocaron. Caron. I hadn't said it out loud with my accent. Ah, uh, I had a whole segment planned for this. I won't say it out loud, so I won't get demonetized. This thing will make you cough hard. No, because of the ash. 
It spreads ash. Obviously, you see it here in the relics. But there's a theory that it's not real. Oh no. Like, it's real. But the theory is that it was made in a la <laughs> Made in a lab. You see the swoop? Oh no. I'm getting a Gurdur. Because it evolves into Konkeldur. Konkeldur, what is best in life? To feign to enemies, get the trainer's park dollars, and hear the lamations of the Lopanis. Turns out I just had to go left. And as I was walking, a blue dog appears, and it says Quabra. X Plasma tells me his name is Cobra Lion, which does sound like someone who would say Quabra. Apparently, he wants me to solve a problem. Doesn't everyone? Further north, we once again visit Chargestone Cave. In the previous game, it was the worst. This game uh, is a sequel, finally out, and approached by Professor Juniper. Oopsie, I dropped a Master Ball. Maybe don't investigate the poisoning of my ex-husband. Was he killed by a poison type Pokemon? No, just normal Rattata poison. Then it's no concern to me. Then meet me at the graveyard. Master Ball though, what does that do? catch any type of Pokemon, I better save it. Notice how all the planes are transportation planes. That's because normal planes doesn't need to exist because people use fly. Every detail is so thought out. So don't complain about sword and shield because you weren't smart enough to get it. The air gym appears to have been sued, so now they simply kill anyone who enter. You can have the badge. Why? I'm, I'm just in a good mood because... Rona pretty much killed Top Gun 2. I have to ask you a couple of questions. Turn on the fan! It would be suicide to return. We are now going to meet Juniper at the graveyard. I just have a question. Are you a patriot detective? I'm sorry? We believe Narcotics is funding Team Plasma. We want to send you to Mexico. This operation is so off the books. It has circumvented the earth and returned into the books. So you travel to Mexico, yes. The only country with its own theme song. Pokemon Mexico is filled with cactuses, scorpions and ducks with sombreros. Pretty lazy they didn't make a Pokemon counterpart and just transfer the country into the game. Leave the cave and enter other Mexico. Tourist Mexico. Officer White 2 is here. Dexter. The reason I'm fighting Team Plasma is because they stole my sister's purloin. So I might kill their leader before he can reveal any helpful leads. I'd prefer if you didn't. Sorry, my hate's just so strong for some reason. Let us continue north. Oh, it's that guy. I, I have a murder investigation and terrorists to stop. I'm, I'm gonna ignore him. We entered La Cunusa. Apparently these two have been here before and could use fly. They want you to listen to this old lady. Hello, young lady. Let me tell you the legend of this town. Long ago, here in town, I, old lady, unleashed an unspeakable evil. Then a foolish ice dragon created a crater. On to the next town. A giant bridge. A lot of effort was put into this place. There is literally nothing to do here. Like a city in a certain Polish video game. Opel Town, named after the German car brand people forget when listing German car brands. Oh, it's her. Ah, welcome to my home, detective. I have some questions to ask. Hmm, radicals threaten our nation, yet you follow your strange obsession. Ask away. How did you know the victim? I feared and envied the girl. Her lack of empathy and emotion made her less human and more machine. That would be her downfall. Do you know who killed her? I'd argue this conversation shows she's still alive, detective. No, she's very much dead. Okay, I have no idea actually. The gym is a giant empty room where you ride a robot dragon attacking a Chinese dragon's fist. <laughs> Good thing this is the future and they have invented artificial gravity. Finally reached the top. Yeah! <laughs> he survived because this is a kid's video. Sir, how did you survive the massacre? I have amnesia after I hit my head just now. I, I do remember a long ass story though. There was once a powerful sort of dragon, then it split into two using ancient DNA splitting technology. This man hit his head really hard. What do you think happens next? I kinda don't want to say. 
So a flying ship with a freezing cannon attacks the city. Team Plasma's current leader Sig Sagoon tells us we seek the ancient DNA splitter. We, we will go apartment to apartment in this million people city we just froze making it harder to search. Within years it will be in our hands. So you poke battle them to make them stop. Ah, you stopped us for now, but our goal is to cover all of Unova in ice. Aren't you supposed to rescue Pokemon? They will all die. Exactly, if everyone is dead, no one can hurt Pokemon, okay? I can't argue with that. The gym leader actually had the DNA splitter and gives it to the player. This would be dumb, but because of the premise of the video, it makes sense. Shot myself in the foot, it gets stolen by teleporting ninjas. Detective, I believe I know where the terrorists are hiding. Where? I am going to tell you. When you have the last badge. To get to the last city, you have to walk through a long underwater glass tunnel. Why build this, you may ask? Because there's a dude blocking the other way. So if you want massive infrastructure contracts, just stand in the way of stuff. The gym is kinda... Low budget? Like the last one was a wonder of the world. This is like a nice shopping mall. Welcome trainer, what's with the disappointed face? Uh, nothing. My gym is not jaw dropping enough, huh? Notice how there isn't a wall behind me. The gym gets destroyed after every hurricane, we can't afford the fancy insurance premiums. It's fine, may I ask you? Whatever, take the badge. You're a bit snobby for having a cop salary. Did you get the badge? I'm actually not done! I have more to say! Now for the final encounter with Team Plasma. On Route 21 we find Plasma's ship. Why is it not parked on the top of a mountain or something? Uh, because vegans. Inconspicuous places don't sell beyond Slowpoke Tail. How do we get on? The bridge is lowered. I am still not done. They don't need 90% of these teleporters, could be removed, fit private cabins, and with higher morale they might actually try in Pokemon battles. 25th and final confrontation with Sig Sagoon. He's like, this is the legendary Pokemon Cairo Rem. Now me and random henchman 56 will eliminate you. He also says, the longer you live, the more opportunities for failure. Which sounds like something I would say. They couldn't win the Pokemon battle, so he asks teleporting ninjas to kill them. Or just escort them off the ship and they fly off. This is what happens when you are over-reliant on Pokemon. You forget how to stab a bitch. Sharon is here. I have all the badges. I don't care about the international terrorists that are about to kill us all. Tell me right now about the murder of a single girl. Okay. I only have one thing to say. I told her jogging with your Pokemon is very important. I see. To the great chasm to save the world. We're here. Hey, look. Now they parked on top of a mountain. They must be getting desperate. Enter the boat again and new puzzle. I actually had no idea what I was supposed to do here. I had to look it up because this children's game is too smart for me. Final last test confrontation with Sig Sagoon. I win. We can now go up and meet the second most important team plasma member. Plot twist, Colress. You might be wondering why I want to do this. Save it for the jury. Ever since I was young. I've been afraid of going to the Scyther trainer to cut my bangs. You, you don't go to the barber? Then some raspberry soda fell on it and I realized I wasn't Colress, I was Coltress. I must be related to the legendary Icebird Moltress. No, that's... Let's just battle. Scraggy. Uh, is that a doctor's coat? Are you a doctor? We should talk. Attack the bird directly. Ow, what the heck? You are not a Pokemon, you are bleeding. You're mean. Are you gonna go home? My mom will pick me up. Good. I have to go talk to the captain of Team Plasma. It was I, the evil Genesis. Yes, hello. You think you can try to stop me? No, I just want to ask some questions. I will not tell you my secret plan. Uh, freeze, Unova, don't care. It's about the murder of Wolfgang. Oh, I, I didn't see anything. Now my plan! Kyroren's power! Uh, I have to get going. Call me if you remember anything. 
Then a teleporting ninja tells him that a celebrity posted a picture of them eating steak on Pokegram so now he has to go. Officer White 2 storms in. Where's my goddamn purloin? Y yes Your little sister had a purloin and it was kidnapped by a specific group. Now you hate that group, correct? I... I hate you. Those are implanted memories. Fictional purloin, fictional little sister. I... I, I, I don't understand. I would give you an origami purloin, but it would be cut from the theatrical release. Leave ship, go to the cave on the right. From inside this cave, I will freeze the outside of this cave or something. I can't let you do that, as it would halt the investigation. Then I shall turn you into a cold case. I really should just move out of the way, but that terrible pun froze me. But then... Stop! It's me and Kyrom, who got a hole in the brain, but survived thanks to a max revive. Ha ha ha! My fool of a son, this was a trap! Are you N? I need to ask you about the murder of Wolfgang. Ah... That is a long story. Do you battle Pokemon? A bit, here in Yunva. Ah, then you must be familiar. Ha ha ha! This was a trap. Then he activates the ancient DNA technology. It gives blue eyes ball transforming cannon. What? The fact that this is the most epic battle put in a Pokemon game up until this point really shows you how starved the Pokemon fans are. Then, Genesis fuses. The two monsters. This! This is a massive ripoff! Completely stolen from the geniuses who created Dub Digimon Season 2, where the Digimon Emperor is planning on fusing all the old main Digimon to create Chimeramon, because he's 12 or something and this is what the ultimate Digimon looks like. When will the shamelessness stop? When? Will people stop stealing completely original ideas from superior cartoons? His name is Bazakyrom? Yeah, this is the ultimate Pokemon. Dies in one hit. You one hit the ultimate Pokemon! Yes, it's cold, so my robot functions better. Fool! It's not over yet! Now you will face me! What? Face me! What are you talking about? We will Pokemon battle! No. You are a terrorist. This is Unova. You're going to Poketanamo Bay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not resisting. Could you now tell me who killed Wolfgang? No. I told him I would remain silent. Iris knows though. Ask her. Take on the Pokemon League. I do have some good leveled up Pokemon, including my level 100 Conkeldur. Victory Road sucks, and all my Pokemon are pretty much. Dead? Halt! Officer White 2. I'm sorry, detective, but this new revelation means I need to kill you. But first I have to defeat you in a Pokemon battle. Fortunately, you suck. What the officer does not know is that I have learned the move High Jump Kick, and it's pretty much a handheld nuclear submarine. Killed all his Pokemon in one hit. Officer, you're under arrest. <sighs> not gonna happen. I'm actually a replicant controlled by the killer. Goodbye, detective. Damn, this cyberpunk future. He's gone. Is that the only hologram that exists? Pokemon League. Conkeldur, smash! Conkeldur, smash! Conkeldur! Final. How did you get rid of the giant palace behind the Pokemon League? Seems impossible in just two years. Why do mankind assume extraordinary things are impossible? We can create thinking life, but the walls in our minds shows we are still not gods. What? We, we annexed Mexico and made them do it. I see. My workers will now allow you to cross the bridge and visit Wolfgang's hometown. So I traveled there, avoiding everyone so I could just get the footage. Of course. It's so obvious. I've learned a lot on this journey. One thing that I've constantly been told is that people can survive getting shot through the head. I believe the killer was found by Cheren, taken to the Pokemon Center. He followed the victim, overheard where she was supposed to go, waited for her to cross the bridge, saw her reach the Pokemon League, and entered the palace before her to get revenge. Is this true? Ember, 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 Ember. 
Ember, 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 Ember. I had no idea what the pig said. Perhaps it's because I don't speak Pokemonese. Perhaps it was because I didn't respect him as a villain. Because he was played by a Dutch actor. Yeah, I planned that. 5D chess. And that is the Killian experience. Hi, thank you for watching. Please like and comment. I'm actually going to apologize for the video taking so long. So, sorry about that. Next video should not take as long, I hope. It's Star Wars.